a lot of my friends, some of them Christians, some of them from church, say that the highest calling for a person is to become a pastor. Uh, and since you are already uh, pastoring the JL Church, and yung sinasabi nila is baka dapat yung ginawa mo na lang is para to change this nation, is to focus more your energies on bringing more people closer to God. Kasi that would bring about genuine change na lahat ng tao na palapit mo kay Jesus. As opposed to uh, stepping down and running for the presidency. I cannot blame our brethren to have that kind of thinking. I myself, it took, uh, I think, uh, four months before I was finally convinced by Task Force for the Bible last 2003 to leave my comfort zone and fight the Goliaths in a bankrupt crap electoral system. <laughs> I even told them, I'm not stupid to leave my comfort zone when the President of the Philippines, the Vice President, the Speaker of the House, and almost all political leaders used to come to our house or in my office here just to be friendly to me. Why do I have to leave my comfort zone and fight the Goliaths in this bankrupt corrupt electoral system? To me, that is a stupidity. But you know, after presenting to me in four months' time all the conditions, even impossible, they complied, etc., etc., and I was convicted by the Lord. Biblically, as well as by empirical evidence in our society, plus that article of uh, James Walker. I have never known a country like the Philippines that just to be number one in Asia and now at the bottom because the Philippines had undergone incredible deterioration due to shocking uh, uh, elevated political corruption. I was convicted by my conscience. Secondly, how I wish all Christians to be educated. The kingly anointing is much, much higher than priestly anointing. When you're a pastor, go, try to go to the Bisoria. Do you think there will be a commotion of people around you? No. But once you're a president, you try to go to the Bisoria. There will be a commotion of people. So that, that uh, rhetorical uh, statement of some Christians, we do respect to them. And I believe that, that they are sincere. But if you study carefully the Bible, in the life of David, he was called as a priest, he was called as a prophet, and eventually called as a king, and even branded as the greatest king of Israel. You know, kingly anointing, Carlos, uh, siguro, have you not seen uh, the prophecy of the person the Jacobs? Yeah, I, I watched it on YouTube. Yeah, did you remember when he said, Father Eddie, God is calling you from priestly anointing to kingly anointing? Political life cannot be separated from economic life. And social life and religious life. If we want a transformation of the whole nation, all pillars of the society must be transformed accordingly. Not just the church, but the entire spectrum of the society must be changed and be transformed. Holistic transformation. As redemption is holistic, physical, mental, and spiritual. <coughs> So I don't I don't uh, debate with our other uh, with our brethren, but it it appears that they have not yet studied the kingdom dominion theology. That's why uh, I have a list of uh, priests and bishops, Catholics and Protestants who became president, priests and pastors, Jan Bani, Anglican priest, head of Banatu. March 1999 to 2004. Jane Bertrand Aristide, Catholic priest, naging president ng Haiti. Thomas uh, Burgers, president of South Africa during the uh, 1800s. And many, a long list. The point is this. Why deny the Filipino people of a righteous, good leadership? Millions of our people are grinding, are suffering in grinding poverty. I saw on television, I witnessed, I could not sleep that night. Imagine a, a housewife, a mother, cooking cockroaches, cake crunches, and being, uh, and being, uh, and the children were eating cockroaches. Nang wala na siyang cockroaches na mahuli sa kanyang pahay, pakiusap sa mga kapit bahay. Meron kumakain ng daga, panguhuli ng daga. Meron nakatira sa ilalim ng tulay, in-interview ni Carl David two years ago. Ako'y naiyak doon eh. Dahil hindi ba kayo natutok sa pag bumabaha yung ilalim ng tulay, wala nang tubig lang. Naglagay sila ng seed ng, kaysa meron sa ilalim ng tulay. Sumusuot sila, hindi sila makatayo eh, sumusuot sila para matulog. Pag wala na yung tubig, tapos alisin. Baka wala na yung tubig, lilinis nila doon sa matutulog. 
hindi pa kayo natutusungog na ka, sabi ni Gabriel mo. At maaari nyo yung ibang tao po rito matutokso. Pamiho kasi. Wala na ho kami dangan bilang tao eh. Except na hindi kami matutusungog na ka. Hindi touching yung presentation ni Gabriel. Ang, ang buhay sa Pilipinas, ganito. Political economy sa buhay. Kung may gagawa na lang gagawin ng Bangang Pilipinas, lulundag ako sa tuwa, magpipis na ako. <laughs> Kung meron lang gagawa at hindi ako ikaw condemn ng history, hindi ako ikaw condemn ng eternity, hindi ako ikaw condemn ng Diyos, hindi ako susurutin ng next generation, nagkagi nito, nagpunta kami sa asin ba ako dahil you refuse to leave your comfort zone and you just love yourself. Ako, ano ba ay kailangan ko ba sa buhay? Hindi naman ako. Ang ganyan, nakatira ako sa one-on-one, bulo bukay bulakan. Doon ako pinanganak. Ang ganyan, doon ako nakatira. Doon ang pupunta sa akin yung ilang presidente, mga kong political leaders. Doon nagpunta sila Bilya, sila Noy Noy, ng 2007 election. They seek my assistance. I help them. Wala ko na yung katiting na a yot of interest in political office. Kaya nga, show me a man or a woman who will sacrifice his life, ready to die, just to rescue the nation from this uh, malady and tragedies. Ako mismo, I will do my best to support. Pero prove me, prove to me, with due respect to other political leaders, they have been in power for so long. Anong ginawa nila sa lab reform? Anong ginawa nila sa, sa mga, dito sa mga tinatawag na itong mga massacre na ito? Bakit lumaki ang private army niya ang patulungan? Sino responsible people dyan? Bakit yung maliit na private army naging monster? At ang modern weapons nila, competitive with the battalion of, uh, army battalion of the armed forces of the Philippines? Very clear. Kailangan lang, ma-educate lang ang tao eh. <laughs> Sino mga responsible dito? Kami sa Pangol, kung parang mga kami, wala ulong ka pa, wala kami vested interest eh. Ready kami to pay, dahil kami for transparency and accountability. Kaya nga, sabi ko, kung alam nyo naman ang Pilipino people. Ano ka lo ah? Yes. Uh, 